So this is the model that I'm going to print in two colors in the same layer. And as you guys can see, it's an oval with two cutouts or punch outs here. And it's just the number one. So I'm going to open it here on Creality Print, our new version. So if you guys haven't gotten the new version, just update your previous to the newer. And you guys see here the two colors. This this was not like this. So you gotta go up here at the top on the right, hit add filament at the filament area. Just press add, it's gonna add one more. So guys, once you add it, you have to go, once you select it, you gotta go to color and um, hit fill and then you find the spot you want to fill and then you hit and you right uh, left click it and it should be fine I'm gonna show you how to do it also on Orca slicer which is very similar to Creality print and also bamboo lab if you guys don't know Orca slicer is probably the best open source 3d printing software for slicing models and this is kind of like my preferred slicer since it's open source and you pretty much can do whatever you want you're not being throttled or limit by your printer company or whoever pr produce it like bamboo lab i heard that they like to uh change the the settings so where you cannot edit certain things and also creality does the same thing um but in orca you pretty much do whatever you want it's up to you so you go here on the left side and hit add filament as you can see, you can add as many filament as you want. You could do four, you could do whatever, guys. Uh, this this print, I'm actually only gonna do. I'm actually only gonna do two colors on this print. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it manually. Uh, I'm gonna delete these. Okay, guys. So after I deleted it, and this is the model that I kind of want to get sliced actually want to color or whatever you guys want to do like um call it multi multi color multi material so this is the the model so you go to the paint option here you see called preview all right so guys i already previously sliced it uh that's why it's like show it shows like it's already done but um, you come here, guys, and you go to paint. Let's see where it is, right here. Color, painting. It's the same, if you guys can see it, it looks just the same as the Creality print thing here on the left. It's just on the left instead of the right. So you select your second color that you wanna use. And, and you just hit the bucket tool. This is the easiest way to fill. It's the fill bucket and just click it where you want to change the color. Another way is to, for example, use a circle. You can use a brush to circle in the, co the color that you want to print. Uh, I'm just, I like using the fill bucket because it's a lot easier and you can't really mess it up that bad. So when you go to slice, guys, you see the model, you see you're printing uh, two colors in the same layers guys can see in the same layer you print in two colors it's telling me that I'm gonna have to do four filament changes which is okay this part is gonna cost me two cents to print and um, about prepare time 10 and it's gonna print in two minutes it's pretty tiny it's just a little batch uh, I just wanted to show you guys that you can do multicolor in the same layers so I'm gonna export it. Oh, you guys see it? I already saved it on my USB. I'm gonna save it again. I'm gonna, uh huh. And then I'm going to eject my USB, and then I'll, I'll show you guys what I do in the printer. Okay, so this part is pretty much straightforward. So I have an Ender 3KE. Um, so I'm just gonna press print. And then I'll show you what I do when I do the filament changes. It told me that I have to change it four times. And it's going to take me about two minutes. The whole print in total. But I guess it's, uh, if you don't factor in the, the time it is going to take you to swap out the filament. So 
So yeah, so this is my first filament swap. So I remove it while the hot end is still hot, pull it out and put in the new filament, which in this case is white. So as you guys see, it's printing the black first and then it's gonna print the, the white afterwards. So it's gonna do that a couple of times, rinse and repeat. It's gonna be about four swaps on this print. It's really tiny, this, this print. And yes, it, it takes a lot of time between filament swaps since you have to purge your nozzle. So warming up the nozzle and then changing the filament and then that just takes time. It takes more time than the actual print. So that's why I, I actually prefer doing the layer height as like a change for color like get uh, one layer lower that has a different color and then the, the higher layer has the other color yes as you guys can see it creates a lot of spaghetti or poop whatever you guys want to call it but yeah that's a lot of waste you could do a perch tower but i don't think it saves you much filament so i rather just do it that way and just get a cleaner look uh, crispier colors in between the filament so this is the final